Well, some of the traders behind me have been saying today that yesterday was the craziest day they'd ever experienced in their careers. The ruble in free fall despite a move by the Russian central bank to raise rates overnight to 17%. Well, where are we today? What next for the ruble? Here to bring us up to date is John Hardy. He's head of FX strategy here at Saxo Bank. So, John, a crazy day for you too. It was a crazy day. I mean, when you have a, a currency from an economy like Russia's of that magnitude falling uh, to that degree, it's, it's a rather scary thing to watch. And obviously, there was simply no liquidity in the market. There was an attempt for the ruble to head stronger in the morning, and it just completely fell apart throughout the day. I think it's important to keep a, a couple things in mind here. It's not just about speculation about outside flows. It's also about the Russian population itself. Having a long memory, remembering the days of the early 90s and the 98 experience, when the, the, uh, the, the clever thing to do is to run out, spend those rubles, either convert them or spend them. So I think there's that crush uh, around this uh, event of, of conversion. Now, if we sort of weather this and the oil price stabilizes, we could reach a sense of stability. Now, this is a one-off thing. It's not like uh, the population is going to do this and, and, and again and again. It doesn't mean we don't still have default risk in Russia and so on, but if we sort of are able to sort of weather this in the, in the short term, into the new year, uh, we could see some stability come into the market. Um, that, that would be, that'd be one way to, to sort of the positive scenario. And this morning, at least, as liquidity is coming into the market, the ruble has uh, managed to stabilize a bit. So do you think capital controls are now further away than many thought yesterday? Well, yesterday the, the situation was very fluid and the, that capital control risk is still there. If we do get another round of panic, if bigger players that need to, to exchange a, a more significant amount of rubles need to come into the market, the, the, the market simply won't be able to absorb it if the Russian central bank doesn't want to use reserves to help that conversion take place. So, uh, again, the situation is very fluid. I'm just trying to outline a scenario that says it could go either way and that this, this could fade and we could see the rubles uh, stabilize. But we do need to see uh, longer term, of course, uh, the situation in Ukraine stabilizing, but of course in, in the short term, oil price stabilizing and uh, a sense that the market has is, is at least gone flat, if not the ruble strengthening a bit. And given the fluid situation in the FX markets, how would you be positioning yourself today? Right. Now, now, the key question is, I would not be trading the ruble personally, but the key question is, I think, for, for global markets, I think this energy decline and even this ruble, uh, these tensions over the ruble volatility have been at the center of some of this uh, correction in, uh, in markets across asset markets. And this is coming right ahead of an FOMC meeting. Has this been enough? A 5% correction in the S&P 500, this tension over the ruble, collapsing oil prices. Uh, Low-quality low bonds also suffering declines. Is this enough to make the FOMC blink and, and not do anything on policy, which it probably already was trying to lean towards doing, uh, rolling out a slightly more hawkish message, possibly eliminating that considerable time language, which, which is a key focus at today's meeting. So uh, I don't think it's enough. I think they're going to roll, uh, roll ahead with what they're planning to do anyway if we get some sense of stability in the, in the markets today. Um, Two-way risk, but I think the bar for a hawkish surprise, meaning that they go ahead and, and, and nudge the language a bit more hawkish, uh, the bar is very low, so which would be dollar, uh, very dollar bullish if, if that does indeed prove the case uh, this evening.